Alrighty, welcome back folks. I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to take a look at what the Indy Fuel did last weekend um, as far as what the skaters did in terms of their stats as well as the goalie stats, um, where those guys rank on their season and just kind of what those numbers are looking like. So we're going to, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to start with the leader for the few in both games played as well as points, and that's going to be Alex Weidman. Played in all three games last weekend. He did score his 19th goal of the year and did extend his franchise record with his 45th assist. And with doing that, Alex Weidman, um, as was mentioned Earlier by the Indy Fuel did tie their fuel the franchise record for points in a single season. Uh, drop a link in the description down below um, for the Fuel had a little bit of a really good summary this week about what happened um, with Weidman setting the frame tying the franchise record uh, for points. Tied that with Ryan Rupert who had the previously set that during that 17-18 campaign. As far as plus minus goes, Weidman was even last week. He's still plus 13 on the year. Had five more shots. 137 now on his season, still 20 penalty minutes for Alex Weidman, 5 power play goals, and now adds his 15th power play assist for 20 overall power play points, and still those 4 game winning goals for Weidman. Next up on the team in points, we're going to go with Chad Yetman is next on that list. Yetman played in all three games to the field, he's now played in 52 this season, scores his 25th goal. And then Yetman still with 30 assists, 55 points overall. For plus minus, Yetman was even. He's still plus 13 on the season. Yetman did record 13 shots last weekend, up to 149 now on the season. Yetman still with 16 penalty minutes, scores his fourth power play goal of the campaign, and then also has 11 power play assists for 15 power play points. Yetman with also one shorthanded assist, and then scored his sixth game winning goal of the campaign. Closing in on Matt Marson, who's franchise record for game-winning goals in a single season of seven. Next up for the Fuel currently with the team, we're going to go ahead and grab Max Gallad, who played in two games for the Fuel. Adds his first assist of the year. He's already scored two goals, so now three points for Gallad. He was a plus one over the weekend, now a minus one on the season. Gallad had nine shots on goal over the weekend. He came in with just four and then he records nine this week. Galad unfortunately did take a took four separate minor penalties for eight penalty minutes now for the forward. One power play goal. He did add his first power play assist of the season. And then Galad also has a game winning goal. That was that overtime winner that he scored in Cincinnati earlier this year. And then next up for the fuel among their active players, we're going to go ahead and grab Brian Lemos. Lemos played in all three games. He's up to 59 on the season. Lemos, 14 goals, added his 21st assist. He's now got 35 points on the year. And then for plus minus, Lemos was a minus one on the week. He's now plus six still on the year. Lemos had nine shots last week, up to 111 so far on the season. Lemos did have one minor penalty against Kalamazoo, and that was his 28th penalty minute of the year. Still four power play goals for Lemos, as well as three power play assists. Lemos also with one shorthanded goal and one shorthanded assist, and just one game-winning goal for Lemos so far. Next up for the few, we're going to head down to Colin Bielek. Bielek was reassigned back down to the Fuel on Saturday before getting called right back up to Rockford. Bielek now has 10 games played for the Fuel, 4 goals and 1 assist. Bielek was even on the week. And he is still even on the season. Bielek had 5 shots. He's up to 25 now on the season. Still 5 penalty minutes after that fight against Fort Wayne earlier this year. 2 power play goals for the forward, along with He's not gotten any power play assists so far, and then one of his goals has been a game winner for Bielek. And then next up for the Fuel, we're going to go ahead and grab Luke Brown is next on our list. Brown played in all three games for the Fuel. He's now got 38 games on the season, 11 goals, added his 15th assist for 26 total points. Brown was a plus one on the weekend, now minus four on the season, and he joins the Century Club in terms of shots up to 100 now 
on the year. 24 penalty minutes for Brown, along with four power play goals and six power play assists. No shorthanded goals or shorthanded assists for Brown, and he has not been able to tally a game-winning goal yet this season either. And another steady presence for the Fuel. We're going to go ahead and grab Andrew Ballant, who played in all three games for the Fuel. He did score his 14th goal and added his four, his 11th assist, excuse me. Now 25 points for the Fuel forward. Ballant was a plus one this week. He's now a plus four on the year with nine more shots. He's up to 109 on the season. Still 21 penalty minutes. One power play goal with no power play assist for Ballant, although he has scored twice shorthanded. He has also recorded two game-winning goals on his season so far. And then he was a healthy scratch on Sunday, but played in two games on the weekend. That was Chase Lang. He's now played in 43 games for the Fuel, 9 goals and 11 assists. Lang was a minus 1 over the weekend. Did record 10 more shots. He's up to 117 shots on the season. And one of the higher penalty minute totals with 95 on the year. Five power play goals for Lang, as well as four power play assists. He has also recorded one power, one shorthanded goal, one shorthanded assist, and three of his goals have turned out to be the game winner. Next up for the Fuel, we have Keone Teixeira, who played in all three games last weekend. He's up to 43 games played, so six goals, 12 assists. Although Teixeira did not record any points, he was a minus one in his plus minus. Still plus 18 on the season, currently tied for the franchise record for that total. Set by Teixeira himself, along with Kirill Chaika last year at plus 18. Teixeira did have nine shots on goal over the weekend, though. He's up to 79 on his season. Still 31 penalty minutes for the blue liner. One power play goal, as well as three power play assists for four total power play points. Teixeira has recorded one shorthanded assist, although he has not gotten a game-winning goal yet. And then next up we have Chris Cameron, who played in all three games for the Fuel. He scored in his scored his fifth goal of the season, and it's been a while since Cameron scored. I'm going to check that pretty quickly here, find out when exactly his last goal was. I actually think he did score recently. I think he got his fourth goal of the year. He did. He got that on Saturday, March the 4th, against the uh, against Cincinnati, but prior to that, his last goal had come on the 11th of February, and then his first goal of the season actually came back, or second goal of the season, excuse me, came back in November. His first one was on November 5th against Kalamazoo, and then he scored his second one on November 25th against Iowa, before he finally scored goal number three, he actually scored goal number three uh, in Kalamazoo on uh, February 11th before scoring on March the 4th and then again again on March 25th. So a second goal in the month of March, making that just the uh, second month this year that uh, Cameron has been able to score multiple goals in the same month. Also did it again back in November. So again, five goals, ten assists for Chris Cameron. Now 15 points on the year. Cameron was also a plus one, now plus four on the season. He had five more shots. He's up to 83 shots on the year. He's still leading the team in penalty minutes with 113 of those. Still no power play goals for Cameron, although he does have one power play assist, and one of those goals has turned out to be the game winner. And then Logan Nyhoff has now played in 10 games for the Fuel. One goal adds his third assist of the year. Nyhoff a minus one so far on the season. Recorded six shots last week. Nyhoff has been a pretty good pickup since coming over from Tulsa. Yeah, Nyhoff still with two penalty minutes on the year. Has done nothing on special teams so far. And then next up, we have... Tyler Cobrin, who played in his first two games for the Fuel. Cobrin was a minus one over the weekend against Greenville, and then was even against Kalamazoo. Cobrin did get his first shot of the year against Kalamazoo on Sunday. And then next up for the Fuel, 
Coltrane Wilson. Coltrane again was sent down on Saturday before it being called back up to Rockford on Sunday. Had a goal and an assist. He's now scored his first goal of the year against Kalamazoo on Saturday and then added his seventh assist of the year on Sunday. Wilson now with eight points on the year. Wilson was a plus one. He did have three more shots. Still 48 penalty minutes for the Fuel Blue Liner. And then next up, Nate Pionk. Played in two games. He's up to 31 games on the year. Still two goals and five assists for Nate with seven points. He was a plus one on the weekend. Excuse me. Recorded only two shots and then did take a minor penalty. He is up to eight penalty minutes on the season. And Nate also with a shorthanded assist on the year, as well as a shorthanded goal. So he scored a shorthanded goal and a shorthanded assist, and he has also scored a game winner so far this year. And then Matt Watson is next up on our list. Watson with one goal and five assists this year. He did add... Give me one second here. I believe that there have been some scoring changes here that have contributed to this. Yep, maybe just a clerical error on my part, but one goal, five assists for Watson in 29 games. Um, up to this point, he was a plus one over the weekend. Watson also recorded six more shots. He's up to 27 shots on the year. Did take another minor penalty. He's up to 18 penalty minutes on the season. And then next up for the fuel, we had Nick Cardelli, who played in two games over the weekend, joining the team after... Iowa released him. Cardelli did have one shot as well as four penalty minutes. And then Zach Driscoll played in two games. He's up to 39 games played on the year. Driscoll, of course, with an assist, and he also with a power play assist, and then also has a minor penalty as well. And then Kyle Maximovich joined the team as well on Saturday after he was signed to a contract with Rockford. Maximovich then came down and had six shots over the two games with the fuel. And then Max Coyle did play in his third game before he was released earlier this week. Um, Coyle without any shots on goal. And then Cam Gray did play in his eighth game of the year. So that is where the fuel stood. This What happened with the fuel this week? We'll go ahead and let you know where they stand on the season and then in the grand scheme of things all time um, the fuel did bring back Finn Evans by the way they did re-sign Evans I was very happy to see that I thought he deserved a second chance um, again as I mentioned last week he impressed me quite a bit um, he unfortunately wasn't able to find the back of the net um, at all but Evans did play in two games, recorded three shots on goal, and again, it looked like he fit. Um, again, unfortunately, he wasn't able to find the back of the net, um, but they did bring him back. So for the fuel on the year, going to go ahead and go over our uh, team leaders in all of their categories, and then just take a quick look at where the fuel stand in terms of chasing all-time records. The fuel with eight games remaining on their schedule currently leading the game leading the team in games is Alex Weidman with 61 of them and then leading the team in goals is Chad Yetman with 25 he has scored 25 goals in 52 games currently on pace for 29 goals 
on the season that would fall just short of the franchise record of 31 set by Spencer Watson in the 1920 campaign before he matched it last season. Alex Wyvern currently has already set the franchise record with 45 assists, and he will continue to chase history. Currently on pace for six more assists, on pace for 51. Again, has already set the new franchise record for assists. He has also tied the franchise record with 64 points in his 61 games. Currently, Wyman on pace for about eight points more, so 72 is what he is on pace for. In terms of plus-minus for the fuel, currently leading the team is Keone Teixeira at plus 18 in his first 43 games. Currently on pace for a plus-21 rating, rating that would be the best in fuel franchise history. The current team leader in shots is Spencer Watson, of course, Watson on injured reserve, eligible to, to return after this weekend on the 2nd of April. And then Chad Yetman is the next up on that list with 149 shots. Yetman with those 149 and 52 games on pace for about 23 more shots. So for about 172 on the year. Team leader in penalty minutes is Chris Cameron with 113 penalty minutes in his 59 games on pace for about 15 more before the season ends, which would be 128 penalty minutes on the year. The Fuel franchise record is 259 that was set by Garrett Clark in the Fuel's 1819 campaign. The Fuel's leader in power play goals remains on injured reserve. That is Seamus Malone with seven of those. Um, so we're not going to get into that number. But then power play assists now. Alex Weidman with 15 of them. It's just four back of the franchise record of 19 currently held by Ryan Rupert. He is on pace for two more, though, unfortunately. So it looks like he's going to fall just short of that unless he can heat up rather quickly. Um, again, on pace for 17. So he would fall just short of that. Um, Weidman also leading the team in power play points with 20 of them. Oh, excuse me. In 61 games, currently on pace for three more power play points on the season, which would put him just short of the power play points record of 24 set by Spencer Watson in that 2019-2020 campaign. Alex Weidman, also the first player to get 20 power play points in a season since Spencer Watson had 24 in that 1920 season. Keone Teixeira also had 21 during that campaign, um, Alex Weidman want one of at least six I have found here. He is one of six players all time with 20 or more power play points in a single season. Um, the first one to ever crest that mark was Robin Press during the 17-18 campaign. He had 20 power play points with 7 power play goals and 13 power play assists. And then Ryan Rupert with 23 during the 18-19 campaign with 4 goals and then 19 power play assists. And then Josh Shalla had 21 power play points during the 18-19 campaign with 8 goals and 13 assists. Before, as I mentioned, Spencer Watson set the fuel franchise records with 11 power play goals and 24 power play points, while Keone Teixeira had three power play goals and 18 power play points during that 1920 campaign to finish with 21 overall. And again, all the Fuel's leaders in shorthanded goals are currently on injured reserve. Um, the only player on the active roster with multiple shorthanded goals is Andrew Ballant with two. And then, as I mentioned earlier, um, Chad Yetman got his sixth game-winning goal of the season, which is just one short of Matt Marcinou for the single season record that is seven that Marcinou had during that 2020-2021 campaign. So very quickly here, we're going to go over where the Fuel rank all times in terms of goals, assists, points, and the skater stats among all-time records. 220 goals by Fuel skaters this year. That is now seven back of the third most in a single season in Fuel history. Their 369 assists are now the third most in a single season in team history. And they are 
17 back of the second most in a single season in fuel history. That was the 386 that they recorded during the 17-18 campaign. Fuel skaters have recorded 589 points. That is the fourth most in a single season in fuel history. Now just six back of the third most in a single season in fuel history. And by the way, the fuel have recorded 4,990 points by their skaters in their team's history. So just 10 skater points back of 5,000 in fuel history. Fuel skaters were a minus two over the weekend, still plus 135 on the season, which is the franchise record currently. The previous franchise best moving coming into this game was plus 41 during that 1920 campaign. Fuel team recorded 100 and or skaters recorded 112 shots on the week. Six. That is the seventh most in a single season. And now. Fuel trail their inaugural campaign of 1415 by 65 shots for the sixth most in a single season in fuel history. Current season, fuel shooters are shooting 11.08%. That's 220 goals on 1,985 shots, which is the best shooting percentage in team history. The fuel have now accrued 858 penalty minutes by their skaters this season. That is the sixth most in a single season, 120 penalty minutes back of the fifth most in a single season. Again, the Fuel were very disciplined over the weekend, recording just 18 penalty minutes in three games. That's a very, very good sign. Fuel just one power play goal and two power play assists. Their 54 power play goals are now the third most in a single season. Now just four back of the second most of a single season. That was their 58 that they recorded during their inaugural campaign. The Fuel have recorded 105 Power play assists this season. That is the second most in a single season in fuel history. The only time that they have recorded more was during their very first season when they recorded 112. Fuel skaters this season have 159 points on the power play. That is the second most in, or the third most, excuse me, in fuel history. Six points back at the second most. That was 165 during the fuel 17 18 campaign. And again, the Fuel with 13 shorthanded goals. That is tied for the second most in Fuel history, three back of the most in team history, along with their nine shorthanded assists, which is the third most in Fuel history. The 22 shorthanded points are the third most in team history, while the Fuel have recorded 38 game-winning goals now, which is four more than any other season in Fuel franchise history. And then also the Fuel have had 34 different players score a goal this season, which is the third most in a single season in team history. 37 different players have recorded an assist. That is the third most in a single season in team history. Now just six back of the second most in a single season in team history. Well, the Fuel have had 38 different players record a point, which is the fifth most in a single season in Fuel history. And the Fuel have had 46 different players record a shot, which is the third most in a single season, four back of the second most. The Fuel have also had 22 different players record a power play goal now, which is the most in a single season in team history. While 24 different skaters have recorded a power play assist, that is just one back of the record for the most different players with a power play assist. And the 27 different skaters that have recorded a power play point is the second most in team history, two back of that 2020-2021 campaign when the Fuel had 29 different players accomplish that. I'm going to go ahead and skip right ahead to the top five in fuel history among active players. In terms of games played, CUNY Texture has the most games played by an active player. He has got the third most in team history with 216. Alex Weidman with the fifth most games played in fuel history with 184. Third most by an active player will be Chris Cameron, currently sitting in 18th with 96 games played. Chad Yetman sits in 19th with 94 games played. And then rounding out the top five among active players for games played is Brian Lemos in 25th with 84 games played. Top five among goal scorers among active players is Alex Weidman in fourth with 57 career goals. Chad Yetman currently tied for the seventh most goals scored in team history with 36, currently tied with Garrett Bembridge. 
And then the third most goals by an active player is Brian Lemos. He's tied with Logan Nelson for the 17th most games played in, or 17th most goals in fuel history. And then Keone Teixeira tied for the 20th most goals in fuel history with Zach Miskovic, Alex Router, and Darian Craighead. And then rounding out the top five among our active goal scorers is Andrew Ballant. He is tied for the 34th most goals in fuel history. Ballant currently tied with Olivier LaBelle and Carl Elmire. Career leaders in assists, Alex Weidman, number one all-time with 110. Kieran Teixeira sits in third with 79 career assists. Chad Yetman sits in ninth place all-time with 51 career assists. Number four all-time for assists among active players is Brian Lemos. He's tied with Logan Nelson for that as well with 37, with the 18th most assists in fuel history. Ah, oh, pardon me. And then number four among active players for career assists is a little bit down, a ways down the list here. And that is tied for the 61st most assists in fuel history is Luke Brown with 15. Luke Brown tied with more than a handful of different fuel players with those 15 career assists. He's currently tied for 61st. Um, we're going to go ahead and rattle them off here for you. Starting with Kevin Dufour, or wrong box as he's known around here. Story behind that one is Dufour took a penalty um, in one of his first games playing in Indy, and I'm not quite sure what happened. I think one of the penalty box attendants opened the wrong penalty box before Dufour went into the visiting penalty box and I noticed it, as well as Angela noticed it, and we're just like, did he just go in the wrong penalty box? So that became his nickname for the rest of his time in Indy was just wrong box because that was something that was pretty daggone infamous for something that you go into the wrong penalty box when you're playing at home. It's something that I've never seen before, and that's one of the beautiful things about minor league hockey is you just see stuff like that. Um, yeah, so <laughs> every time his name comes up, I'm just like, wow, there's wrong box again. Um, so... Luke Brown tied with Kevin Dufour along with Carl Elmire, um, also tied with Reed Seckel, Robert Powers, Neil Manning, Brandon Anselmini, and then Nolan Dakota. Anselmini, a really funny story um, during the banquet after one season. So if you want to hear about that one, just hit me up um, either on Facebook or drop a comment down below, and I'll share another video on that one. Anselmini was a, just a hoot during that um, after season banquet at the Children's Museum. But that is who. Luke Brown is tied with on the career assists. Next up on the points list, go career points. Number one all-time among active players. Number two all-time overall is Alex Weidman. Number two among active players. And sixth place overall is Keone Teixeira with 100. And then number three among active players as well as number nine overall is Chad Yetman with 87 career points. Number four among active players Again, tied with Logan Nelson for 16th most all-time, has 60 points. That's Brian Lemos. And then rounding out our top five among active players for career points, that is the one and only Andrew Ballant, tied with Nathan Knoll right now for 56th in career points with 28. Career leaders in plus minus, top five all-time. Number one all-time right now is Kirill Chaika, but among active players, number one all-time is Keone Teixeira. And then we have Brian Lemos. And then third among active players is Chris Cameron at plus 15, and then Chad Yetman at plus 12. And then we have Matt Watson at plus 8. So we have Teixeira, Lemos, Cameron, Yetman, and then Matt Watson at plus eight rounds out our top five. Career leaders in shots all time. Spencer Watson continues to lead that category among active players. Alex Weidman became the fourth different player on fuel history with 500 or more shots. That's 500 on the nose right now. That's the fourth most all time. Keone Teixeira currently sits in eighth with 370 shots on goal. Chad Yetman sits in 14th with 234 shots on goal. Number four all time among active players is Brian Lemos tied with Nick Bly for 26 most all time with 157 shots. And then rounding out our top five all time in shots among active players is Chris Cameron with 125. That's the 44th most shots in fuel history. 
Team leader in penalty minutes all-time is Matt Rupert. Among active players is Chris Cameron. Number two all-time among active players is Keone Teixeira. By the way, Cameron's sixth all-time, and then Teixeira's seventh all-time. And then third on that list among active players sitting in... 64th all-time, tied with Alex Krzyzlewski, is Brian Lemos with 40 penalty minutes. And number four all-time among active players is Andrew Ballant with 27 penalty minutes. That's the 87th most in fuel history. Ballant currently tied with Ryan Zulsdorf, Riley Sweeney, David Brohl, and Patrick McGrath. And then right behind... Those gentlemen tied for the 93rd most penalty minutes of all time is Chad Yetman, tied with C.J. Ike, Nicholas Lindbergh, Evan Vossen, Miles Liberati, and Dan Ford. Team leader in power play goals all time is Spencer Watson. Among active players, it is Alex Weidman with his 13. That is the fifth most in fuel, or the yes, the fifth most in fuel history. And then the second most among active players is Keone Teixeira with his five power play goals, along with Brian Lemos and Chad Yetman, who scores his fifth all-time. And then quite a few guys tied with those guys for the 22nd most in fuel history. We're not going to list them all off here for you. And then tied for 35th most all-time among them is Luke Brown. Number one all-time in power play assists is Keone Teixeira. Number two all-time is Spencer Watson among active players, though. Alex Weidman ties Spotty for the second most power play assists in fuel history. The third most by an active player is Chad Yetman with the eighth most all-time. Fourth among active players is Brian Lemos, tied for the 45th most in team history, along with Luke Brown. Both of those guys with six power play assists in their fuel career. Most power play points in team history is Spencer Watson with 56. Alex Weidman has the third most. He is the most among active players with 46. And then Keone Teixeira in fourth with 39 power play points. Chad Yetman currently sitting tied for 11th with Rhett Bly with 24 power play points in his fuel career. And then fourth among active players is Brian Lemos with 11. And then fifth among active players is Luke Brown, tied for the 38th most in fuel history with 10. And then what I think was the most impressive over the weekend is, again, I'm going to link it down below with the Fuels Review of the Week, but Chad Yetman, now the career leader in game-winning goals for the Indy Fuel with 9. And really quickly, I'm going to jump in here and talk about what the few goaltenders did last week. This one's going to go a lot quicker here for you folks. And I'll tell you what, we'll jump back in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up there. Again, I'm going to drop a link down below for what happened uh, with the Indy Fuel. Wrap it up. Uh, what happened last week, go ahead, uh, click that link. Just kind of see a few more things about what happened with the team. Um, and we're going to be right back with the Fuel's goalie stats about what happened last week. And we're also going to talk about... Um, just a quick little review about what I think about what happened over the weekend uh, with the games against Kalamazoo and Greenville, and then what I think about the fuel schedule for the upcoming week. So stay tuned for that. That's coming your way next.